Welcome back to JG Online Service. How are you? I hope you are doing well. Last week, we have learned about how our choices affect our relationship with God. That was part two. This week, this week go, is gonna be part three. We are going to learn about how our choices can affect others. And this is gonna be super fun, you know, because you will be the audience of our amazing maze running competition. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Hi friends! Welcome to Junior Guys in my Runner. I'm so excited to join this amazing journey. Before we enter that quest, let us check the rules. Rules number one, no food or snack in this area. Uh oh. Okay, okay. Rules number two, no toys allowed. Okay. Rule number three, please wear proper coating. Hmm. Number four, stay focused and silent your phone. I'm ready. Are you ready, guys? Let's start. Oh, oops. Before we go, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for all you have done in our life. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for you are always with us and our family. Lord Jesus, we want to learn today through this journey. Please bless us so we can learn more about you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys, let's go. Thank you. 
more and follow my movement. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. What can take your love away? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. What can make us separate? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. Dead or in life. One thing that stays the same No power or king Can do anything To take your love away Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing What can take your love away? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing Now kids, it's our time to worship the Lord. We want to give the best worship to the Lord because we trust Him. He is our way maker, the miracle worker, the promise keeper. You are here, moving in the mist. I worship you, I worship you. You are here, walking in this place. I worship you, I worship you. You are here, moving in our mess. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, life in the darkness. My God, that is who you. Promise keep a light in the darkness My God, that is who you are
I see that you have followed me into my journey to the maze. Okay, so in order to pass to the next level, I'm sort of stuck with this question right here. Like, okay, as you can see here, there's a couple of doors behind me, door one and door two. And I'm confused which door to pick because one of these doors are going to lead me into the next level while the other one is gonna cause me some trouble here. So, so because I'm confused, I think I'm gonna call my friend a scriptura. Yes, hello, a scriptura. Can you like come over here real quick? Uh, I need your help with something. Thank you. Ace Scriptura. Hello, Ace Scriptura. Long time no see. I'm sure you know what my issue is right now, so could you please give me like a Bible verse that relates to my issue right now so that I can like know which door to pick, please? Okay. Why, thank you. That's very kind of you. Become wise by walking with the wise. Hang out with fools and watch your life fall to pieces. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20. Okay, thank you, Scriptura. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Okay, so. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that. Besides, isn't it like exam week right now? And like, isn't alcohol bad? I've never seen anyone count well well. Okay, yeah, I'll but definitely pass. No, thank you. Brokey pit down, we are trying to study for midterm exams. Oh, hello there, I haven't seen you around. Would you like to join our study session? Afterwards, we will have a little break time. Ellie is making us iced chocolate and cloud bread. We'll see you around. Okay, so um, since I still can't recall the verse that a scripture gave me, so why don't we just call a skin? A scripture. Become wise by walking with the wise. Hang out with fools and watch your life fall to pieces. Proverbs chapter thirteen, verse twenty. Thank you, a scripture. Okay, so let's just repeat what a scripture said. Times so that we can make sure that I don't forget the verse again, okay? So, become wise by walking with the wise. Hang out with fools and watch your life fall to pieces. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20. Okay, I got it. So, it's time to pick which door to choose. Watch me, guys. Right there, thank God. And now, look at us, we're in the next stage of the maze. Yes! This is future Gabby speaking, and I would like to explain more on why I chose door hashtag 2. So, in the first door, there's a gnome that has a habit of drinking and is quite undisciplined. So imagine if I were to go to the first door. People there might become a bad influence for me. And it can also affect me to make bad decisions in life. And that is not in line with what God wants us to do. In door 2, we have a tomato that is disciplined and is very polite. If I pick door 2, which I did, then the tomato would affect me better. Okay, so right now let's continue our maze journey. Let's go. Okay guys, so update. I've been going around this maze and I can't seem to find the next level. I feel like I'm lost and I feel like I'm also going around in circles because I think I've been, I think I've passed this rock for like five times already so 
Yeah, I think I'm a bit lost. Should I go right or should I go left? Hmm, I think it's pretty simple. I should go to the right. It looks safer compared to the left side. And this also happens in our real life. Life is full of choices. In many aspects of our life, we need to make a choice just like now you choose to stay and join the online service or you choose to play with your gadget we need to make a choice in our life and not only that god created us as a social creature meaning that we are living with other people just like now we live with our parents, we meet our friends, we communicate with our JG friends. We are surrounded by so many people. So that's why it is very important because your choice will affect people around you. And not only that, the Bible said that one day, God will judge us on how our decision or how on our choice affected other people. So that's why it is very important to pray, to ask for His wisdom before making a choice. And remember, your choice will affect people around you. So now, let's go to the right! So we can go to the next level? Hmm. Remember, as what we learn, our choice will impact other people. But sometimes people around us, they will give us influence on how are we making our choice. So let's match the stories whether it has a positive impact or negative impact answer it correctly then we can go to the next level story number one it's about Aaron and the golden cow hmm I know the story so one day Aaron and the Israel people they have a festival a day of worship but instead of worshipping God, they worship the golden calf because all the Israel people, they demand Aaron to build a golden calf so they can worship the golden calf. And what happened is Aaron fulfilled their request so they built a golden calf and everyone worship the golden cup instead of worshiping the God. So, according to the stories, 
Do you think it gives a positive effect or negative effect? Hmm. What do you think? Of course, it gives a negative effect. Because because of that, God was so angry with all the Israel people. And he punished Aaron and all the Israel people. Luckily, there is Moses. Moses prayed and asked for God's forgiveness to all the Israel people. So from this story, Aaron and the golden calf, remember, Aaron's decision gives a negative effect. And the story number two is about Paul's story. Saul conversion to Paul. We know that story. Saul happened to be a guy who hate Christian people. He liked to persecute Christian people. But one day, Saul experienced God. And God changed Saul into a different person. Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Huh? Who are you, Lord? I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Lord, what am I to do? Now get up and go to the city. You will be told what you should do. Hey, Saul, who am I talking to? I... I did not see anybody. I can hear only the voice. Augustus, are you there? I'm not able to see anything. Huh? Saul, have you turned blind? I fear. I fear that I've lost my eyesight. Please hold my hand and lead the way. Hello, Saul. Is it... Is it Ananias? Yes, Saul. Lord God has sent me to you. You will see again and will be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, something like scale fell down from his eyes and he could see. Thank you, Lord. I can see now. Saul is no longer known as Saul, but he is also known as Paul. And because of that story, because of Saul who experienced God and become a new person, Paul gave a positive effect to people around him. And we know from the story, Paul gave positive effect. He preached the gospel to so many people, he wrote a lot of things in the Bible, in the New Testament. He shared the goodness of God to many people. So Paul's stories teach us that when Paul made the decision to change and become a new person, he bring positive effect to so many people. So, Aaron and Golden Cup. Positive or negative effect? Yes, negative effect. So, so conversion to Paul, positive or negative effect? Yes, positive. So let's moving on to the next level. Yes, finally I'm out from this tunnel. Next level, I'm coming in. Let's repeat the power statement after me on what we have learned throughout today online service. So, the power statement is, the choice we make will affect others. One more time. The choice we make will affect others. Since we started.
start again. I have passed level 1 and level 2. Well, level 1 was easy, but level 2 was harder. Fortunately, I managed to make some good decisions and I'm on to level 3 now. Miss Ronnie says like life, isn't it? We have to make choices all the time. Here or there, this or that. Some are very easy. But others need some careful thoughts. It will a decision we make will affect others. It will affect our lives. It will affect our relationship with God. And it will affect the people around us. Some will help, but if we make wrong decision, they will hurt them. Just like our SMB that says, Become wise by walking with the wise. Hang out with fools and watch your life to pieces. I have to choose to hang around with correct kind of people. If I choose around with the wrong kind of people and they make me they make bad choices, then eventually I will have bad results and I will start making bad choices and it will hurt the people around me. Oh no! I don't want that to happen. I have to be careful in my choices making. Level 3 Congratulations! You passed level 2. To be able to pass level 3, you must unlock this door using secret codes. To get the secret code, you must solve cases and reach 3 good choices first. Should you get 3 bad choices first, then the door will be locked forever! Case number one, your sister and you are playing together. Then suddenly, you knock down a vase and it breaks into pieces. Immediately, mom comes out and asks what happened. You are afraid mom will get angry. Will you quickly put the blame on your sister? Or will you explain what really happened and apologize? Hmm, what should I do? If I say my sister dropped the vase, then I'll escape. But I'll be lying and she'll get scolded. I, I, I don't want that to happen. I think I'll just tell my mom what happened and apologize. Case number two. Your elder brother's heavy bag is on your study table on purposely and you want to use your table. Will you get angry with your brother and immediately order him to remove it from your table? Or will you just take the bag and put it on your brother's table instead? If I get angry with my brother and ask him to remove it, then it will affect him. Then we may start a fight and it will ruin my day. No, I don't want that. I'll just remove the bag from the table. Case number three, mommy needs help with the dishes and she calls you for help, but you have test tomorrow. What would you do? Ha ha, this is easy. I just tell mommy that I have some studying to do. I have test tomorrow. What? No, why? Oh well, true. I cannot be selfish and think only about myself. I can actually help with the dishes and then study later. Oh well, I have to be wiser. One more to go. Let's go. Case number four. You are playing online game from your handphone, but your parent asks you to stop playing online game to give your eyes a rest after hours of online school. Will you get angry with them for stopping you? Or will you stop playing online game and do other activities instead? Well, my decision will affect others, isn't it? I will obey my parents because they know what's best for me. I will stop playing. Yes! I'm a winner! I can see the finishing line there. Mm. Please, I'm
choice now to run towards the exit and win or help Juan in need oh what will Jesus do if I ignore Juan I will win but Juan will still be in pain and helpless I'll be selfish and uncaring won't I and God will be disappointed in me if I help I will have a new friend and God will be proud of me I don't want to make bad choice I don't want to hurt Juan. I want to help him. I think I know what to do. Are you alright? Please, help me. Oh, thank you. Shall we go to the finish line together, Juan? Let's go. The choice we make will affect others' kids. Remember that. Now for the bonus round. Bonus round number one. Complete our SMV. Become wise by walking with dot dot dot. Hang out with fools and watch your life fall to pieces. Proverbs 13 verse 20. A. The elders. B. The leaders. C. The wise. Bonus round number two. What was the lesson about today? A. About the choices we make affect others B. About the choices we make affect our relationship with God C. About the choices we make affect us now, Bonus round number 3 Is it fair if our bad choices hurt other people around us? A. Yes B. No C. No idea Bonus round number 4 if we hang around with people who make bad choices, we will eventually start making bad choices like them. True or false? Bonus round number 5. In response to God's will, what will you choose? A. Stop bad choices. B. Make good choices. C. A and B are correct. Congratulations! You finished bonus round. Let's close in prayer. Father, just like in a maze, sometimes life can be confusing for us. We pray that you will give us wisdom to be able to choose wisely so that we give positive effect on others. Give wisdom to our president and vice president too, Lord, so that they can lead this country in fearful of your name. Give good health to our senior pastor, Insignor Nico, and our beloved pastor, Dr. Yanto, along with their extended family members, Lord. Holy Spirit, lead us and guide us to make wise choices always. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So boys and girls, if you have any prayer requests, you can contact us at this number and we will pray for you. This week, we will explore a place from the Bible. Many of you must have known it, the Jordan River. Yes, it's the river where Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist and the Spirit of Father God came down to Jesus like a dove. But the question is, does it still exist today? The answer is yes. Jordan River is a 251 kilometers long river located in the Middle East that flows from the slopes of Mount Hermon through the Sea of Galilee and to the Dead Sea. It passes by some countries including Israel. And until today, this river is still considered as a sacred place in Israel. And of course, they got a baptism site along the river. This baptism site is now called Yardinit. Along the year, thousands of people come to Yardinit and they are baptized in the Jordan River. 
Do you also want to be baptized in the Jordan River? So that's it for today. I hope you have a great time and I'll see you again next week for another great journey. Bye bye, God bless you!